Hi guys, it's Kevin. Um, today we're going to talk about how to make your own uh, continuous ink system. Uh, there are more and more uh, companies like uh, uh, Epson and uh, Canon. They have uh, the EcoTank, MegaTank, those uh, uh, continuous ink system. Uh, they put uh, the continuous ink system on, uh, let's say, a $50 printer. They sell it for $300. Uh, why not let me show you how to make your own CS? There are lots of models, there's lots of theory behind it. I really want to be focused and I want to be uh, pretty through why it works. So maybe you can make your own CS after watching this. Okay, the first one I'm going to talk about the uh, ink tank. Uh, basically, you can put a CS on any kind of printers. For example, if you have a printer, and you have a big bottle of ink, and uh, your idea maybe I have a, a tube goes into the cartridge. Uh, however, your problem is uh, the ink level always changes, okay? For example, if your cartridge is here, now your ink level is here, the ink is going to flow into the cartridge and dump in your printer. And then when you consume the ink to here, your cartridge is here, so you cannot suck it in because it's, it's too low, the, the ink level is too low, so ink will flow from your cartridge back to the, uh, back to the bottle. Actually, I have, a, I have a design CIS for a company that they run 200 meters of uh, printers. I mean, they have a multiple printers span 200 meters. They have a big showroom. Then in the middle, they have a bucket they dump the whole bucket of ink in one bucket, then all the printers suck from that, that bucket. And if you design correctly, you can do some really, really fancy things. Okay, so please be patient, uh, go through every episode of uh, this series, then you can design your own CS. So, have you ever seen a pad water dispenser? You have a big tank of water, then tank coming down, this ink level is always, always the constant. Whenever you pad the drinking water from here, and then there will be water flow in to replenish this smaller tank. So we have big tank and small tank. And uh, how about how about we use this kind of design? Okay, the split tank design is exactly like this. You have a big tank, and you have a smaller tank. And uh, this is the plug, it blocks the refill hole, and this is the air hole. So this can tank works is, uh, first thing is you try to let all the water flow into the big tank. Okay. Then you put it up. You're going to see there is an ink level difference between the smaller tank and the bigger tank. And that look exactly like like our pet water dispenser. And now you pull off this air plug. This plug need to be open, so because this is this is where the air supply is. To pre prevent dirt fall into it, you you can put a something on top. For example, this air filter. So where do we put this uh, CIS tank? Print head is here. We need to put a print head between the ink level of smaller tank and the bigger tank. Normally I just put it next to the printer and that works. I like this first design the most. It's really easy to troubleshoot. And uh, you get the ink level difference and you know it's working. Okay, if you have any leak, anything, you, you know right away. And uh, the limitation is you have to put this uh, at the same level of your printhead. So that's one restriction. So uh, if you go to bchtechnologies.com and uh, go to accessories and uh, ink tank, you're going to see lots of ink tank designs, different sizes. What about the other ink tanks? So with the same idea, how about this big guy? Okay, this is over 500 mil tank. Will this work for this printer? 
Absolutely. As long as you can have uh, ink difference between the smaller one and the smaller tank and the bigger tank, it, it will work. Okay? So this is just smaller, this is just bigger. How about this guy? Okay. This is called a mini tank. Here's the big tank. The difference is, see, right now the big, hand, big tank doesn't have a plug. It only has one plug. So what you do is you add water, you add ink from the small tank, and then you tilt over, make sure all the ink flow to the big tank, then you plug it. If you see here, in the middle, there's a hole, okay? So actually, this, this air hole is here. And this, this plug, this plug now is not supposed to plug in when you, when you use the CS. This plug only, only is to be plugged when you transport the tank. Okay, we're still on the first design. And uh, here, here is a salt priming design. Remember, we have to tilt it over and uh, then, then move it back and then we put uh, the, air, uh, the filter on it. Uh, this design doesn't have a filter, it's filterless. This is a big tank and this one's a smaller tank. And uh, this is air hole and this is refill hole. So it is designed when you refill it you refill this way and uh, remove the plug. So when you tilt it back, it's already primed. So you don't have to remember, uh, you don't have to remember how to prime it. So you prime, you prime it just by adding the ink. Here's one in action. So basically when you open it, all the ink will automatically flow to the bottom. You can see the design divider here is a lot shorter and or, uh, or cut up, a lot shorter than the, the first uh, clear tank I showed you. That's because it's designed so when you open it, all the ink flow to the bottom. So when you close it, it's already primed. Okay, now let's talk about the second design. Second tank design, okay, uh, this is the shape of tank. Sometimes you can see this, it looks exactly like this guy. However, there's no divider of the two tanks. Instead of here, it has a column. And here is the, the refill plug. Um, and this one, you can see there's a divider here. So uh, there's a divider, then there's a refill plug, there's air hole. In here, the air hole look like this, and there's no divider. What happens is there's a membrane here. So basically it controls how much ink you can, you can suck off from the tank. And, uh, and, and therefore it's, it's just like the water dispenser but it's controlled by the membrane here. Uh, we, don't, we, don't, uh, we, we don't have those, the, the, we don't have smaller one here. Um, because I, for some reason, I just like to see how it works. So here, if this is male function, there's no way you can know it. Um, so let's see. So the, the drawback is you don't know uh, if it's work or not. It's working. Uh, if, if something goes wrong, you don't know if it's this pressure problem or other problem. However, for this design, the ink is not controlled by the ink level. The ink is controlled by the, this membrane. So you can, you can almost put this one anywhere. Okay, this CS is designed for underneath the printer. So you can put a printer on top of it. And uh, let me say, show you where the column is. So you can see there's an air hole here, and there's a column. And another advantage of this design is uh, you can put somewhere you don't really uh, you can you can put some you can put it right on a cartridge. For example, this is 65 cartridge. And if you follow my other video, this is the tube. 
here's a tube opening, the air hole. And here's the refill hole. You can take a cartridge, cut the cup top off, replace it with this cap, and now you have a mini CIS inside your printer. And the third design is called the chamber design. The design is like this. A, a cut a tank to a series of uh, chambers. And they're at a different size. And then there's a small connection among the chambers. So when you, for example, when your ink is high, uh, maybe you want the ink be um, harder to suck it out because your ink is high, there's a pressure already. And uh, when the ink is low, you may want to make the chamber a little bit bigger and so it's easier to get the ink out. And uh, so you can see this kind of design is also depend on where you put this tank. So this is a printhead right here. The printhead has to be within this range. Here's an example of uh, the chamber design. If you see closely, you can see there's horizontal lines of the chambers. Uh, so when the ink will consume more ink, you're gonna see uh, there are more chambers underneath. Okay, here's the all three different kind of uh, tank designs. I hope you take those ideas and play around and uh, maybe start your own, own new design. And uh, please let me know if it works. I hope you like this video. Cheers.